okay let's pass the journal entry uh, assuming that amalgamation is in the nature of merger so just see those five condition so according to those five condition all assets and liabilities of the selling company uh, after amalgamation becomes the assets and liabilities of the purchasing company that is our first uh, condition then second condition um, at least 90 percent of equity share capital of selling company should become the um, shareholders of a limited and the third con uh, condition the purchase consideration the purchase consideration to the shareholders of uh, b limited has been discharged in the equity shares so that condition also fulfilled over here and the fourth condition yeah the a has to continue uh, the b's business for some years that is that was the fourth condition and the fifth important condition when uh, a limited a purchasing company incorporates all the assets and all the liability it should be on the book value okay let's start the problem journal entries so the first entry there will be a no difference in the first entry the first entry is uh, business purchase account 8 lakhs to liquidator of selling company it's 8 lakh so we can see the difference in second entry so it says all assets so building has to be taken at book value okay uh, machinery it's three lakh ten thousand again book value furniture one lakh fifteen thousand stock two lakh twenty five thousand debtors one lakh sixty thousand cash at bank cash at bank it's eighty thousand to creditors one lakh sorry uh, one lakh uh, debentures 10% debentures it's 2 lakh mm, yes it's 2 lakh the next statutory reserves reserve 90,000 and surplus it's 70,000 there is one more general reserve we'll keep it um, for adjusting and the last one business purchase account it's 8 lakh So ultimately we are going to adjust the difference in general uh, reserve. Let's see how much we are getting. So it's 4 lakh 50 thousand, 3 lakh 10 thousand, uh, 1 lakh 15 thousand. Sorry, it's one lakh fifteen thousand. 
प्लस टू लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड वन लैख सिक्सटी थाउजेंड एटी थाउजेंड सो इट्स वन लैख थर्टी फोर थर्टीन लैख फोर्टी थाउजेंड ऑन डेबिट साइड थर्टीन लैख फोर्टी थाउजेंड हियर इट इज वन लैख टू लैख नाइन नाइंटी थाउजेंड सेवेंटी थाउजेंड प्लस एट लैख सो इट्स ट्वेल्व लैख सिक्सटी थाउजेंड माइनस थर्टीन लैख फोर्टी थाउजेंड सो एटी थाउजेंड हैज टू बी एडजस्टेड इन जनरल रिजर्व ओके so remember it's a adjusted figure okay it's adjusted figure so we are incorporating all the liabilities including statutory reserve surplus debenture creditor and we are adjusting the difference amount in the general reserve okay and everything should be incorporated at book value not a, not at market value so the third entry settlement entry so here we credited the liquidator of selling company will debit liquid debtor of selling company account debit to we are paying in equity uh, equity share capital so the total amount is 8 lakh equity share capital it's 5 lakhs okay uh preference share capital it's 2 lakh security premium is 1 lakh okay there was one entry that was the uh, conversion of debenture uh, debenture so 10% debentures of selling company is going to convert at 12% of debenture in new company the amount remains same so it's 2 lakhs and the last entry would will be the payment of uh liquidation expenses so here general reserve account to bank account 20000 okay so under purchase method we adjusted the expenses in capital reserve now here in this problem we are adjusting it into uh, general reserve under uh, pooling interest method okay so these are the journal entry so let's compare quick uh, the differences between those two methods uh, let me get those paper yes so hope this is visible so according to uh, both the methods the first entry will be same according to the second method let me clear according to the second method here under purchase method we are taking assets uh, and uh, at book uh, market value see 
six lakh, three lakhs. These assets which are taken over by the purchasing company at market value. For this, we are taking book value because market value uh, market value is not available for this particular assets. Okay. Uh, here we are taking all assets at book value. Okay. Then the next entry, uh, like in liabilities, we are taking. Uh, debentures and creditors the outsider liability 2 lakh and 10 uh, 1 lakh but in this case we are taking uh, statutory reserve as well as surplus and general reserve okay so we are transferring all the reserves to purchasing company because it's a pooling interest method we need to incorporate all the asset and all the liabilities according to those five conditions so the balancing figure has been adjusted in the general reserve in this case the balancing figure uh, has adjusted in uh, capital reserve okay uh, the main difference you can see in the second entry okay and uh, the third and fourth entries are same in both the methods the last entry here in in purchase method we are adjusting um, the realization expenses under capital reserve and here in this pooling interest method we are adjusting this into general reserve uh, the realization expenses should be adjusted into a general reserve so as of now this journal entry part is over let's do a balance sheet then uh, we'll finish the whole chapter